Howdy everyone, hello and welcome back to the Imperian Cup. I am the Black Shadow and we are here for more wild card action. Uh, the group stage is finished and we've got our second chance uh, qualifiers for the quarter finals. Uh, so you're looking forward to it. So I am the Black Shadow, you can be your host and commentator for this one. This is Wildcard I. Uh, featuring Bale, Neil, and Errol. And remember, of course, these are free player matches. Winner takes all into the quarterfinals. And there's a dog outside who might get choke slammed. So let's have a look at our um, Imperial Road for this one. So we've got uh, X Guild Compact, Truth Side, Benjamin Sister, Assassin Mission, and The Voice. All very, very cheap cards. So that's definitely going to inspire picks of uh, like Ekaz and Helena. Uh, some pretty decent cards. Chusaya is, uh, I think, very, very solid. The Voice, I think, one of the better early card, early game cards of the game. It's Gear is a little bit on the risky side, however. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, as for our text, we've got the incredibly powerful Chute Transports. Even more powerful, I'd argue, in a free player game. Holton Engine, always a lot of fun. And we've got Memo Coolers as well, which someone might want to rush to try and get hold of shipping uh, sooner than they would like. Uh, Memo Coolers as well as a tech that also you do have an easier time picking up the free influence um, on all tracks. Uh, a little bit easier because there's less competition, of course, because they're only free players. So, uh, Errol is in third spot. Is going to take. Um, it's going to take Helena. Makes total sense. Uh, we've got a laser Ekaz pick here for um, for the second spot here, which is a curious one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. The idea is Elite is going to be easier to play in a free player game because you've got more opportunity to actually get what you're going for for your one step head ability. Uh, and we've got a Beast pick in first position. I think it's going to be very, very dangerous. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to proceed. Uh, Beast and Helena look like they're going to largely be getting themselves caught up in a lot of combat here. So a laser perhaps is going to end up going to be the, uh, the influence person, perhaps. See how things will proceed. Regards, we're going to get ourselves underway. Uh, so our first combat of the game is going to be the Influence. Uh, the Influence and Spice Skirmish. Possibly the most rewarding skirmish in round one, I would argue. Um, it's it's pretty close between this and the other one. But incredibly, incredibly powerful. Uh, Beast has picked up his ring um, and not much else, actually. In fact, uh, a laser has picked up Diplomacy. Uh, both are convincing, as has uh, the Beast. Uh, Helena does, has a Signet Ring, but not too much else. Um, Beast going immediately for memory quarters, because of the fact that he has no, um, he hasn't got any, um, what should we call it? Any, uh, influence, uh, diplomacies, so he's gonna get his boost that way. Now, Laser, of course, has diplomacy, but can't use it because she's put it down. So she can't actually use it to pick up fold space out of turn, which is a little unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. So smuggling for a laser, um, Helena surely will go fold space here, uh, I would imagine, seeing it's still open. She must know if she doesn't. The laser still could potentially pick it up, courtesy of the fact that she has um, uh, she has a card down. Remember, of course, with the laser. Once you put the card down, uh, you can use it. Once you you have to show it face up on your second round, um, and if you use it, it has one icon. You get a spice. If you use it with it has multiple icons. You get a Solari, but you're not obliged to use it. You can hold that back. So Beast here currently has a lot of reveal. He's currently got seven reveal on his hand here. I suspect we'll see probably Signet Ring to like Carfang uh, if Helena doesn't go there first. Helena will be using Signet Ring right away. Interesting to see what she's going to pull back here though. Um, Truth Sayer or Voice? Um, maybe even, wow, picks up her convincing argument. Happy with that. A lot of decent options here uh, to pull Signet Ring. I think Voice is just better. Um, I just think voice early game is so powerful um, and can do a lot of crazy stuff. But she's going to put the truth sayer behind, which is also like, I think, probably, I'd say second pick, depending on your top pick here. Wow, Treasury turns up here. Gets huge. Beast will be able to pick this up. Unbelievable. Beast has seven persuasion. He just signet rings the car fag. Um, and he will get a turn one treachery. Wow, that's pretty insane. Also note, Helena did not use her, used, uh, her diplomacy, which is interesting. She's kept hold of it. I'm wondering what that's about. Um, considering False Face was open there, but uh, okay. So, Carfang for the Beast. Picks up Advanced Reprie. Oh, that's really good for him as well. Wow, Beast is looking, uh, could become an absolute monster on the field here. 
Um, I would put in all four, and he does decide to do so. This is a combat you want to win. Alaysia now has her diplomacy and will finally get access to fold space. How she's got there, I don't know. You'd have thought Helena would have sniped it, but wasn't to be. Surely Elena's, uh, Elena's got to gotta take away here, you would imagine. Um, Hardy Warriors looks pretty pretty ugly now. Um, oh, she's considering taking it back and revealing for treachery. Wow, now that would be pretty unorthodox here. Very unorthodox. I don't know if I like that. Like, Treachery's a good card, don't get me wrong. But I don't know if I'm a big fan of, like, sacrificing this much on turn one for Treachery. I I don't think it's that good. Very decent. But there's so much to do here. But she is considering the reveal for Treachery. And just taking it now. But who would you expect to get it? Like, Helena's reserved truthsayer. I mean, Helena might have be able to get access there, potentially. She has five cards, but, you know, you'd expect her to go for truthsayer. You cannot expect the beast to be able to get this. Like, you can't at all. Like, it's probably fine that he goes immediate tech negotiation for member cards and takes it for that. Like, I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. And he didn't know about treachery anyways at the time, so... I, I think I'd be playing Diplomacy here. Um, like, there are some cards you can see me do it. Like, uh, there's obviously some incredible cards, but I don't think Treachery is good enough to sacrifice around one turn when Fold Space is right there. I don't think there's many cards I would I would consider sacrificing for that. Not many at all. But Neil in the tank here. In, on second action. What else have you got going here? Um, still suits. You know, you could still suit and just put a troop in for... Um... Oh, no, of course, there's a third player. There's no third, there's no third spot here. She's going to reveal for treachery. Wow. That's real disappointing for the beast. Like, he's going to be very upset with that. He, like, he was eyeing that up. But that is... That is an interesting decision from a lasery Kaz. So I'm guessing she's going to be looking to... Oh, I see where this is going. I think hollow projectors is the plan here. I think what's going on is she's going to look to to mine at uh, Hagger Basin um, or Imperial Basin next turn, and she's going for um, she's going for hollow projectors, and she's going to look to hollow project treachery out of her deck constantly to throw troops in to try and break the uh, the combat cycle here. I think that's what's going on here. I think that's the plan. So somehow Helena has found her way to fold space. I don't know how this has happened, but it has. Pretty nuts. So Beast is going to take this. So Beast has six on reveal. So can you see what he's going to pick here? Like, voice, I think, should be automatic. Um, but just initiate also looks pretty decent as well. It could go X Guild Combat and look that use this to, like, threaten uh, a lot of techs. I'd be totally okay. As techs, of course, very valuable in the three-player game. Probably more so than they are in four players. Because you can generally get a lot more use out of them. The, the game tends to go more rounds. Because, of course, you have to find 10 victory points, not 9. In the three-player game, you do not get the uh, the bonus. Exguild is taken. Reveals full-scale assault. Which might see some use potential in this game. I can see someone trying to go for that. Wow. Beast, can't, how can you turn down the voice here? Go with Bene Gesserit's sister. Wow, I would not have done that. I really, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I think the voice is such a versatile car, but there we go. Um, so four for Helena. So Helena could buy Truthsayer for two and voice for two. And I suspect that's what we'll see. That is indeed what is going to happen here. Okay, so Beast is going to win the combat. He's going to get immediate access to the, um, to the, to shipping. So he's going to be making use out of that pretty early. And a couple of spice for Helena. Move on to the second round. Okay, so here we are then. So second round. Laser will be to begin. Uh, Terrible Purpose is our next combat. So victory point in a trash here. Um, not the worst second place either, considering that this is second round. Um, so I think that's a decent value here. Uh, Laser has both her daggers... Um, Beast now has both his diplomacy cards. Beast is going to want to look to get advanced weaponry on the board here, I think, pretty quickly. Um, 
Now, being that he has shipping options as well, it's going to be interesting to see what Beast does here. I quite like the idea of Beast using uh, Doom. Um, and then using his diplomacy, save your seek allies card for like the second for the next couple rounds uh, to give yourself a bit more options. I would be totally down with that. But it is usually a debate whether when you have both your diplomacy cards, especially whether to uh, use seek allies or not. I do like trying to find reasons to save seek allies to like round three, round four, just so you know that on your second cycle of cards. You're going to have more options. You're less likely to draw like a super bum hand. Um, and just know that Seek Allies there is good. Obviously, you have Seek Allies. You can make it slightly less efficient to draw other cards. Um, but generally speaking, like, um, you're not going to find, like, killer, killer cards uh, immediately. So I think being one card extra in your deck on the second spin around is is not a big deal. And I don't think you should worry about it too much here. Laser must put down a card, of course, for... Um, for one step ahead, so we're going to see what she plans to do here. Um, it's kind of awkward. Like, there's stuff she'd like to do. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Seek Allies come down here. Would be my guess. She'll put that down. She might put the Signet Ring down as well. I wouldn't put any of the others down here. But I would imagine Signet Ring down, and she'll go Seek Allies to hit Fold Space. Would be my guess. That seems like the most uh, versatile option. She's going to put down the Dagger. Hmm. Now, what's going on here? Is she eyeing up? Is she eyeing up Mentat? Oh no! This she's prepping for uh, the. She must be prepping for the hollow projectors then. And she's doing this. She must be prepping this. So I guess we're gonna see uh, what we saw. What I said last turn. She's gonna go mining, and she's gonna prep up. Yeah. Here we go. Now, are any of the players gonna see this? And realize what's going on. They've seen her reveal early for treachery and see Hollow Projectors is there. Is someone going to make the tech negotiation block? I would like to see it. And I think either of them can justify it as well. Um, neither of them have great reveal hands here. Um, Beast is going to be a bit awkward here. So Helena wants to go fold space to get shipping. But of course, if she does, it makes life kind of awkward for players here. Uh, if she goes fold space, Beast will be forced to go shipping, and they're going to allow this situation for um, for uh, a laser. And they're going to allow her to pick up um, hollow projectors here. So it's kind of in both of the other players' interest that Helena does not go to fold space here. And she goes tech negotiation. I think that's what she's weighing up here. Just kind of just trying, like, you must... you got to feel like, you know, when you see someone go... So Imperial Base didn't even put any troops in either. This is very suspicious. But nope, she's gonna uh she's gonna she's gonna let it happen. I uh, It's the it is this case that happens in the game a lot of sort of players don't want to block because it's um like they want someone else to block, but they don't want to do the blocking themselves. So a laser is gonna get hollow projectors, um, and the players might regret this decision. Um I can't say I'm a big fan of this. But uh, here we go. Maybe let her get hold of her projectors. Um, the thing is, more with late Helena, like she could definitely have just not bothered going fold space right now because Beast is going to ship anyways. Um, a laser is going to then, well, she might then pivot to go to shipping. I guess he blocked her, but I don't know. I think that's very dangerous letting her do that with treachery. Um, and um, I think there's going to be problems here. And I think Bale, Errol here, realizing that he's like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But alas. Uh, next deck up here is Wind Traps, by the way. I'm curious to see what you guys think of that one. Helena going for more spice here. Um, so I'll, uh, so she's prepping up for potential horror project um, for Holtzman here early, which looks pretty damn nice. Um, Beast is being allowed to take this combat if he wants. He has to deploy troops, though, and the problem is the only way for he can do that reliably is to go Hardy Warriors. But for a victory point and a trash, I would do it. Nice to see Beast as well using diplomacy, not using his uh, Seek Allies. I like it. Yep. Put the two in, win the combat. Happy days. So a laser is definitely looking like um, Neil is is sacrificing early game. 
And he is more than happy uh, to let these early ones go. And he's going to be targeting sort of a late game resurgence here. Uh, looking to pick off some combat to mid, uh, mid game here. Going to discard the dagger. Ooh, little risky this because you never know quite what you're going to redraw here. Oh, finds his diplomacy. Worst card. Yeah, took the risk. Um, I mean, you're unlucky to draw your diplomacy. Like, it feels bad, but that is the risk you took there. So, occasionally, that is going to horribly go against you. So, two to reveal for, for a laser. Three even with a uh, tech negotiation. Winning Weight also turned up here, which is actually pretty nice. Winning Weight is kind of a card that has some interesting uh, different dynamics in a free player game, just because there's less turns. Um, so that, you know, someone might be tempted into weirding, but Benedict Initiate is always solid. Can never go wrong with that. Uh, Liaison as well is also not bad, but I'd be surprised if a laser takes it. I feel like she's kind of going for much more of a workhorse deck. Um, and she wants to be drawing cards so she can get the maximum out of treachery here. So I feel Benedict Initiate is probably a better pick here overall. Um, there are liaisons. You can get liaisons whenever you want in a free player game. You're never running out of them, but, uh, that is the pick here. Mm. Free for Helena, who takes that. Oh my god, a second treachery turns up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty insane. And nothing for the beast. Beast will win. Taking terrible purpose. He will win the combat. Uh, he's going to pick up assassination mission. Okay. I don't like assassination in free player games. I am. Although, of course, he can just take it and trash it immediately because he's going to win the combat. So, uh, you know, I guess that works. Players that they're shifting a lean season gun fox are turning up here. So this is looking to be a pretty aggressive game. Tons of swords and combat everywhere. Okay, round three is up. Uh, it is trade monopoly. Now, this is gonna be of interest to players here. So Helena is gonna be up first. Um, I imagine we're gonna see some signet ring action. She has six spice now, which is pretty good. Um, the Great Fat's busy building up Spice, waiting for someone to go steal suits. No one's gone there yet. Um, barely any Fremen interest in this one so far. But you imagine Helena is going to either... Um, she wants to do something else, maybe, and then block up in, uh, block up shipping. Potentially. But she can't really... There's not a lot to be done here. I would probably just go... Um, I mean, she could go voice. And then block something up, I guess. But I don't really know what else you've got. It's a bit funky. Yeah, I think she's going to block up smuggling here. Call it a hunch. She's going to try and stop Beast from picking up the... Um, uh, from picking up the Swordmaster here. This is why I would have liked actually playing Voice second. And gone there with Signet Ring. Because then let Beast get his Solari. And then you block up Swordmaster. And you're kind of forcing him to use his Mentat. Which he might not necessarily particularly want to do. It's a bit of a wasted, uh, wasted action for him. But, uh, alas. Yeah, so smuggling block it is. Just trying to get in the way of B, stopping him from getting access to that. Now I don't mind taking Mentat. And I actually would probably do so. I would probably take Mentat now. Um, because now you know you're going to have the actions in the bag. And you know you're not going to get there. And she's probably going there yourself. So now you can dagger Mentat. And you know whenever you next go shipping, you're going to pick up your rum um, thing. But he's going to go... Oh, is he taking... Tr oh, he's going wind traps. Interesting. Not even the troop transports. He's going to let those hang by there. That's a bit of a surprise. So wind trap for the water. He figures he's going to win a lot of combat. He's going to get a lot of value out of this. Let him go mining a lot more, perhaps. Um, looking to do bits and pieces. Yeah, and here we go. It has begun. And this is where the players, I think, have um, they've missed a trick here. And the laser is going to be problematic with these these treacheries here. It's going to be real problematic. Uh, she put down recon here. So looking to go city. So she's definitely looking to win this combat here. We'll probably go up and down, I would imagine. Um, looking to start making progress with... I don't know what exactly. Not a bad second place either, the water and the intrigue, considering that no one's uh, access to Great Flat currently. The spice is building up. Unfortunately, Eliza has to go into here again because she's got a dodgy hand. Um, so she's going to just take the spice. 
Um, I would imagine, I would have thought she'd put an extra troop in here, but decides not to. I guess she's going to go recon next, so it's like, eh, whatever. Here comes Signet Ring for Helena to go, um, now, yeah, now she's going to allow it. Now she picks up Holtzman, which was, uh, I think, larger the plan. Just wanted to stop Beast picking up the thing. So Holtzman taken for five. Puts Weirding Way aside. Curious. Not even shifting or fopter. Interesting decision. Duncan Law Blade turns up as the next card here. Perhaps encouraging um, some Fremen troops. Now, Beast does not have to go smuggling here. In fact, I actually would probably not go smuggling, and I would go up and down and look to take it and uh, look to take troop transports to the next one here. Yeah, so blocking up smuggling, like stops in penalty. But I think this is actually not. This is totally fine for Beast. Like, I would not go smuggling. I would go maybe steel suits or something, or maybe go. Uh, you got some options here. What you want to do? Maybe you can go Hardy Warriors, um, you know. But you've got to expect Halaza is, is probably looking to try and win this combat. She's last to act. So I actually think maybe just put a troop in with um, Steel Suits, with Diplomacy. Looks pretty good. I would not bother smuggling. Or if you are going to smuggle, I would just go up and just say whatever. But you might as well go Steel Suits here. Yeah, and he will do so. Taking the Fremen point. Uh, he's going to get a couple of water for his troubles. Uh, and put the troop in. Look to take second spot. Looks totally, totally good to me. Oh, he's going to put in the Dreadnoughts. And he's going to save the troop by the looks of it. I like this. I actually like this a lot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he paid. Just to clarify, he, he, he paid. Um... Oops. Oh, I see. He's that thing there. So he's the moment to put the troop in and forcing a laser to commit more. And I'm not. A, I'm not against forcing a laser to commit more. Unfortunately, you now no longer have any. Um, you don't have any any intrigues, which is a little awkward. And obviously, you've got student traps. So you kind of want to put it in, but you've got to expect you're not going to win this combat. So I, I think I'm totally fine. Just put the dreadnought out there. Look, use that to pick up some second spots as you go. I think it's totally, totally fine. Um, she's having a look into the discard to see what he's got. And knows that he has, she has a dagger, so there's no point. Uh, it would force her to put in more troops, but I think just put in the the thing here is totally fine. So recon, I suspect, will probably still be played. I don't really see what else you're going to particularly do here. I don't think there's anything else you really can do. So just go Carfag, just build up here. Let's see what intrigue she pulls. Pull second wave, that's really strong. That's going to be good later game. That combined with treachery is going to be brutal. Really, really brutal. So Helena has two reveal, takes weirding. Uh, we have six reveal for Beast. So Beast is uh, finally going to pick up his treachery. Even though the first one got stolen from him, he's going to take the second one. So good news for Bale. And then Elise is going to have um, four to buy anyways. Ooh, Water Peddler turns up. I suspect Elise will take that. I think that and Shifting looks pretty strong. I would imagine that will be, uh, be the picks here. I wouldn't be surprised to see anything else. Fopta could be pretty good as well, combining that with your Treachery uh, discarding. So Shifting taken... Gonna turn down Water Peddler? Mm, I mean, things you can always hollow project um, Water Peddler out of your hand as well. Like, you should be 100% taking this. I think it's a mistake not to. You know, uh, you've just, like, this is so good for you with hollow projectors. It's just printing, you know, you're just printing water. I would not be turning this down. This is so good for you. So, so strong. I know you've got, like, a slightly bigger deck, but you've got hollow projectors, and you can draw cards. Yeah, 100% the right call. So that's going to be all. Um, so a laser will take the win. So you get a spare troop and the two bumps. Um, a water and intrigue for the beast is pretty decent, however, as well. See what he picks up here.
Ooh, Sleep Must Awaken. One of the better intrigues going. And the laser is just going to go up and down immediately here, it looks like. She's just going to take the, um... What's the plan? She's just going to take the Solari? She's going to just take the Solari and probably look to maybe hit Wealth next turn. Wealth Swordmaster. That's the plan here. Far from guaranteed to get there, but it looks like that's going to be the plan. She might also consider, like, using Treachery um, as an actual card, thinking she's got Water Peddler now, and that would just pay for all sorts of bits and pieces. But um, Beast is ready to go Mining Great Flat here. So it's going to be interesting to see what a laser is going to do. Um, where she's going to um, go in that first turn. Is she going to go Great Flat first? You would imagine. But Beast will have first action overall. But Beast surely is going into the cellar, so... You shall see. Um, Alata takes the bump with the, with the Baron Jesserit. We'll move on to the fourth round. Machinations is the next combat. This will be heavily fought for. Um, Beast is going... Ooh, Beast picks up some interesting cards here. Uh, I could see Hardy Warriors for Beast here. A lot of options. He's got his ring. Beast wants, of course, to get an alliance as soon as possible to get more value out of his ring. Exceal Compact's nice to have. That's going to be able to let fend him some spice, but um, some tech buying later on. A lot of fun stuff here for Beast. Beast might even consider going Exceal to like Fold Space or something, just to get his second Dreadnought on the board and really start posing issues for a laser and just not have a way. She picks up both Treachery and Water Peddler in the same hand. It's just that she's going to horror project. I imagine she'll horror project Treachery, but I don't know. I mean, you could go both ways. Puts down Dune, which is interesting. So I think she's going to look to go Great Flat um, second round. But I surely she's not getting there straight away. This is curious. She has no other way to get there. So can you see what the plan's going to be? Beast's only way to get to Instastella is via Signet Ring. Which is a little disappointing for him. He's not going to be too happy about that. But he still should do so. Uh, I would go up and down. Take troop transport, use that to fund uh, getting troops in, use that as competition against a laser's treachery uh, discarding here. Uh, I think this is fairly automatic. I don't see how you can do anything else here. Yeah, up and down, here we go. Um, they just see he's going to take the bump. I would like to see the bump with the Fremen. Being honest, um, I think you should look to target. Um, you should definitely look to target the Fremen Alliance. Get that taken. Get your ring um, increased in power. Needs to get the. Um, needs to take the troop for that as well. He hasn't not done so yet. There we go. But he might decide to go... Ah, oh, here we go. I think he, all the alternatives, you go forward space. And then you go um, you go to Spacing Guild. And then use Ixgil Compact to get your second Dreadnought in play. I think both are totally fine. I think both are totally, totally fine here. He's going to go the Fremen route, which I like. So I suspect we're probably going to see maybe some wind traps. Takes the money. So he does have access to Swordmaster. So he's going to go to the dag. He's going to see, get to see what happens. Water Peddler is going to get discarded here. So he's going to, she's going to take the water. She's going to hold on to Treachery. I think she might end up using it potentially. Interesting to see what's going to be the plan. Uh, I think she was eyeing up Wealth. But cannot do that now. Uh, she will get beaten as Swordmaster. It's Treachery. I'm sure she's not going to play Treachery yet. She's going to look to hold on to it for as long as she can justify and then barrel it out in like the last couple of rounds. So Seek Allies is going to begin. Um, just to see what she's going to... Oh, no, maybe not. A lot of options here. But they're all a little bit awkward. In a way. If you know what I mean. So you're going to ring out here. Laser has not been buying um, Fold Space cards, by the way. She's going to get Great Flat now. This is totally fine. Now, Gil Contacts is a funky, funky um, signet ring. There is a there is debate whether you should take this or not. I've played the laser games a little bit, and I've played a laser games with deliberately not taking any um, any fold space cards. And I've done a laser games where I have bought um, every time I physically could. And 
I can't say that one is better than the other, personally speaking. It's all a little bit situational. Um, but I do honestly believe that um, although it's a bit of an alt card, you are spending a Solari for the false place card. I think in a free player game, it's stronger because money is easier to come by. So you don't have to worry about that. But I honestly do believe that um, that I think it's not bad. And, you know, you're paying for later on. But having those full space cards in your hands is good. So she's going to decline Doom because there's no point now. Um, so Seek Allies is coming up here. She wants to win the combat, remember. So just what she's going to do. Maybe she's going to go Steel Suits? She could even go Highline if she really wants to be ultra aggressive here. Um, selective seems fine. I think they're all fine here. Even Conspire is okay, because you've got second wave, and you've got troops you can just send in. Um, and you can use that cash to look to get hold of High Council pretty soon. I think all, all Alliance spots here are fine, apart from Secrets. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> or Wealth. I probably wouldn't go there either. But uh, the other six are all totally fine. I would not be against going Highlander, though. I think that'd be pretty cool. The thing for a laser that's interesting is the fact that she does need to get hold of two bumps to the Spacing Guild still. And she doesn't want to go full space anymore to do that. So she's probably going to look to do something else. So Highlander, going there twice will get her her point. And I think that's totally fine. We just didn't see what happens if you went Highliners and you put in, like, six troops here. Machinations is a very, very strong combat, and people do want this. Second place for the War and Two Solari is not great at this point now, so it's more or less a, uh, a win or bust. And the more I'm looking at Highliner, the more I'm liking it, like, overall. I mean, it is round four. You've got a bit of time to pick up your extra spice so you can pick up Highliner again. Oh, I wouldn't go Wealth. I would not go wealth. Anything but wealth. I feel such a waste. You've got to put troops in. You've got to make the you've got to make the beast commit to further action. That's what you've got to do here for sure. Still suits it is. She's gonna put in probably I think she should just put in two. It's kind of weird. She's got treachery though, so it's a bit funky. But I think if you don't put any in, that looks suspicious. Doesn't. Now, that is suspicious, um, that you don't do that. Beast might put in more troops anyways. He might see this and think, hmm, I'm hardly safe here. Helena will get Swordmaster, courtesy of being able to infiltrate. Now, Beast. What does Beast do here? I still think Beast should go Hardy Warriors. Um, get the Fremen Alliance, take it down, get some troops in. You can't know it's one, and he does. Yes, good spot here from Bale. He knows that he's, this isn't right. So that will be discarded, of course. Now, you've got to put in your Dreadnought minimum. And I would put in probably Dreadnought and a troop. Oh, is he? He's got to put in the Dreadnought here. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it was coming. So this is a good spot from Bale. I like this. Now, the thing is, is that he... Oh, well, she... It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Now, if um, Beast takes the swords with the bench assistant, he's guaranteed to win. But if he doesn't, a laser can still win with treachery in second wave and take this down. Just. He's kind of doing the maths here. And I think that's fine. He's going to... She's going to feel happy when she reveals and throws treachery out. It's going to feel, oh, I made the right call. So those troops must go in. There's nothing you can do about that. So they are forced in. So it's eight. Second wave still gets there though. So it'd be interesting to see what Beast decides to do here. Another liaison for a laser here. Now this is interesting. I don't know if I like these these liaison draws. Uh, must be eyeing up going research station, I guess, later on. Using Water Peddler to finance that. I'm guessing that's the logic. I guess she had nothing else to buy here with free persuasion. Um, so I guess there is that. So I, I, so Eliza gets off that one. But the first one I was a bit suspect of. Uh, next up is going to be Errol. He will be next up in action here. So he's still got an action to go. Kind of curious to see what she's going to do here. False space it is. Minimate. Yeah, 
Gonna paint Minimic, going for Spice Must Flow here. Looks like she's gonna try and uh, sort of stay out of the way of a lot of fighting. So High Council's gonna be coming pretty shortly. So picks up, picks up Weirding. So that's a little bit unfortunate. She has six to buy, but unfortunately it's three swords gone to waste. Now what does what does Beast do here? Take the swords, take the buy. Takes the swords. Good job, Bale. That's well played. He's seeing he you. He just, just, it's like he sees it coming. I mean, picking up the liaison is not bad for Beast, but I, I think Swords just guarantee it is totally fine. Lady's going to take Guild Ambassador, so she is obviously going to target that alliance, and that is going to be a problem for players. Um, Beast is going to have to feel like he's going to have to try and do something about that. He has Treachery, so he could use that to challenge Helena. Treachery and Shipping. There's going to be some options, but um, Helena's getting the shipping more than Beast does. Laser is not bothering with it. So Beast's going to take this down. He's going to go into the basin, interestingly. I'm kind of surprised by it. I would have gone probably Carfag. But okay. And a water and two Solari for a laser, which doesn't do a lot for her. So um, not a great result for her. But Bale, Bale outplayed. And as Beast is going to pressure her. She's going to, yeah, he's going to keep her under pressure here. Uh, takes the Emperor as well as a bump, which is totally fine. So Helena is going to have to work for this um, Guild Ambassador. She might have to max out spacing here to, to, to get it. Shall see. Right, next up is Cloak and Dagger. I do enjoy Cloak and Dagger. One of my favorite combats in uh, Conflict 2. Really think it's a lot of fun. You're never quite sure who isn't, isn't going to go for it. Uh, and the first spot is like very, very entertaining. Uh, Lazy's going to be up first here. So Shifting Leanches is in hand. She will be looking to make use out of this. Now, what exactly she wants to do here, I don't know. Um, I could see research station um, disposal facility being taken with Shifting Allegiances. I think that might be the play here. Um, you got Diplomacy in hand. You feel like you should use that. Hmm. You have interesting decisions to make here. There's, um, yes, extra ward up for Beast for winning. Hmm. It's one of those ones where you kind of want to more to holo project to, to see what you're going to get. But you can't do it until you put down the card you're in. So you've got to deal with the information in your hand. I think shifting the inches down is, is fine. You're always going to do something with it. But you, it's, it kind of depends. Do you want to do it first? I don't know. Dispensably, like, I think would be a decent pick for a laser. Considering that she's buying the Azons. Everyone having a look at her deck. <laughs> Everyone having a nose. But then you kind of want to shift straight away and just get to tech negotiation and just guarantee you'd get disposal. Use disposal for... I don't know what. I don't know. Now I'm kind of not liking it so much. She's she's inconsistent. She's, insistent she's going to hard project both those cards. So disposal has less less efficiency. So shifting's going to go down, which is fine. Um, I do want to see a laser hitting Highliners at some point, though. I really think she needs to do this. But selective breeding is going to be. Okay. So she's going to trash out, I imagine, a dagger. She's going to keep the other two cards because the hollow projectors. So I would expect we'll see it. No, she's going to get all of, of Peddler now. Okay. Interesting. Draws the liaison and a dagger. Gives her six to buy. Okay, interesting, interesting. And it's going to be up here. High number voice. Uh, she's got full space, signet ring. A lot of nice options here. I think we could see a... Um, she might block up full space here. No, nope, just going to block up uh, Mentat here. Okay, so she's just doing this just to stop uh, a laser here. But the thing is, Beast, I, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I, I don't see what this really does. I mean, Lazy just goes Mintat. Like, I, I think this is... I don't, know, I don't like this at all. Because a Lazy can just happily just just use a dagger. Like, she's likely going to have one. Was the, was the theory that she had... Look at that. She had no daggers on her discard. So she was guaranteed to pull one. I don't know, kind of weird. 
kind of a weird decision to block that up. I mean, I guess, like, you kind of... You have to, I suppose. But the but the theory, she's going to have at least one, if not double access. In fact, she is going to probably have double access to, to Triangle. So she's going to be able to go Mentat and there anyways. So I think this is a bit weird. Don't particularly like this. Shifting leeches, you might as well play. And just go to Mentat and just use your spice for stuff. And just dagger for holo projectors. And just dagger for sword master even. I think that, I don't know. It just seemed a bit of a weird block. I guess I had nothing else really to particularly block. So that's the problem with voice sometimes. I would have I would have saved voice up possibly. I don't know. It's just like it's a hassle to a laser, but it doesn't really make much difference. So yeah, I would just go mentat. I would just go mentat here um, with shifting and then dagger to. Like, you've, it's cost you one Solari. What does it, what does it really matter? She doesn't. What? What's going on here? But if you get it, what? I don't. Whoa. What on earth is going on here with a laser? What's she? What is this? I mean, she's just going to pick up a rubber dagger. Oh, she, she's buying spice is what she's doing. Is she going to take flagships? She's taking flagships. Whoa. Okay. So fully committing, going to take the flagship point. She's going to buy spice must flow with her other, with, um, with nine here. Now this is most curious. Did not expect this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm very undecided. Next tech is going to be Sonic Snoopers, by the way. So, smuggling for Helena. She's going to just try and shut the beast out of um, shipping here. Um, courtesy of the fact he's got troop transfer, which I guess is understandable. He's going to take the um, fold space uh, alliance here. But it's not going to be safe. Beast will look to get there. So, Beast now is going to... Ooh, he's going to reset station. Ooh. Finds treachery, finds all sorts of cards here. Wow, 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 wow. Now this is this is interesting. Beast cannot go highliners. He cannot go highliners, but he might well just hit fold space with treachery. So here's the spy spy for a laser. I have no earthly idea what Helena is going to do with her next, um, with that. She's, a laser ECAS takes full scale assault and does not take Spice Must Flow? Whoa. This is very unorthodox from Neil. Like, I cannot believe that. Really? A laser he cares is going to just try and win this game through conflicts. This is high risk. Very high risk. Both players are going to know it's coming here. Wow. 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 Here comes the uh, high council. Uh, Helena's going to have six to buy here. So Fufia is taken. Yeah, makes sense. Chris Knife turns up. Not a bad card. I want to, I'd love to see Treachery in a fold space here. I don't think he's going to do it. But it's so dangerous, her having this alliance. What do you want to do here? The crazy thing is, no one's committed to this combat either. So you're going to win this combat. You're winning Cloak and Dagger, which is pretty insane. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Just cannot allow it. Now, it's obviously a shame because these two troops are kind of not doing anything, but they were not going to do anything anyway. So the alliance is taken. Um, So that is... I think that's totally fine. You've got to deny that to Helena. 
you just can't allow her just to print out spice uh, spice um, points here with that. So you take that, and then next turn you um, are you likely to pick up access to spacing? Not really, but in the next couple of turns you're gonna find your way there. So Fufi is taken, um, has two to spare, but doesn't take it. Two more into the tech pool. That's going to be really strong for Beast. A lot of options. Um, so what does Beast want to do? Beast has four to buy. Fopta looks good. I think given our laser's statement of intent, I think Fopta looks very good here. Imperial Spy also looks fine. I wouldn't take Bene Gesserit's sister. I don't think it's good enough. You've got one. I don't really think... If you're just going to go for the swords, just go Fopta. Go for versatility. Charm Directorship is the next card. This could be of great interest to some players here. Challenge Directorship is good for pretty much everyone. Um, is there anyone that'd say that's not useful for? Beast ish. Oh, Beast finds Core cool in the market. That's out of Helena's hands. Glimpse the Path taken as well. That's a nice card to have. That's a really good, strong, versatile card here. Um, did Beast take uh, the bump? I, I missed it. Okay. He did. Okay. So he takes it with the spacing, which I think is the right decision. Uh, so shuts Lena out um, completely, which I think is totally fine. I think that's the right choice. Just deals with it. It's done. Don't have to worry about it. So next combat is going to be Imperial Basin. Uh, troop. Yes, Beast does not get a troop from that because the Dreadnought retreated. So that's good. Mm, yeah, look, this Helena's now starting to wonder. Yeah, so Helena's in a little bit of um, indecision here. It's so the problem. Helena feels like she has to go here to stop the beast. Just to stop him from getting there, which I think is probably, like, correct. But I think she's starting to feel like she's starting to get limited use out of this, maybe. I don't know. Charm is going to be put aside. She will be able to get this. So Helena is going to get some bumps here. So she's going to be starting to push for the rest of the tracks. So Beast is up next. Beast has a sister. Call the Market is going to be of interest to him. And he is going to want to look to do something about that. Also has Memo Quarters. So he wants to start making progress on that. So I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing some troops of selective breeding soon. You kind of do something first though. You've got all these tech, these troops here in the Ix as well. You should really start using them. Um, Sonic Snoopers looks pretty good. I would probably go tech negotiation. Um, just take Snoopers for free. Probably use Glimpse the Path as well and just cycle through your deck a little bit. Um, that's what you want to do. Also, Boa, your Signet Ring is also guaranteed powered up. Ooh, gonna go here first. Okay. Taking High Council now. Getting in there before a, la um, before a laser does. Okay. So, Treachery cycled out. So, two troops added in. Eliza put down her reconnaissance card. So Eliza now has to has to find her way to Swordmaster, surely. And does. So that is done. Fact is used to liaisons should be notable. It's not really a card you'd want to use for doing that. If you can help it. So Helene is going to go to Hardy Warriors. So it's time to start getting in here. And he's being raised by the players. Now, I honestly think this is Helena's one to fight. Uh, I don't think B should be getting involved here. I think B should use this as a setup turn. Um, look to just start trying to um, set himself up here. In fact, I would probably go Signet Ring to, like, smuggling. And just garrison a couple of troops. And just kind of arm up here. Um, you know, I think you've got a lot of options. You do not need to get committed here. Also, just go select to breeding with your Bad Jesuit system now. I mean, that's also totally fine. Um, trash your dagger. Or you could use uh, Diplomacy to do it instead, actually. But I think you should definitely hit in this. And does. So Dagger's gone. Finds these other Dagger and Dune. It's not quite what he wanted. He has eight Persuasion. So he might be tempted to go to Dagger to Tech Negotiation now to pick up, um, to pick up the... Pick up a Tech here. 
I even consider going for Disposal Facility. That's actually not a bad pack pick for Beast. Beast tends to not be very good at uh, discarding and trashing his cards, so it might be a good way to do that. Halesa picks up Bribery. That's pretty nice. She'll be happy with that. So, Carfag it is. Got to put in more troops here. Now, she cannot pay for flagships here. Now, again, if she doesn't put any more troops, it's going to look suspicious here. And again, Helena. Helena has to obviously react here. So it's 11 strength here. Helena's going to be up next. Helena, surely going to get more dudes in. Kind of curious to see how she's going to do this, though. Maybe go Steel Suits? Um, you have city access. You could go to, uh, like, Arakeen. It's going to take Mentat. This is a good play. I like this. Now your laser is forced to go first, and you get to see what she does and react. I think this is pretty nice, actually. Pretty shrewd. Beast is going to be up here. Um, dagger to tech negotiation, I think, is what I would do. But you kind of want to use Signet Ring to garrish your troops, though. A little awkward. I don't think you can do everything you want here. You could glimpse the path to draw a card. And then if you get what you want, Signet Ring to tech negotiation. I think that would be probably what I want to do here. So draw your card. Oh, it's fold space. Oh, that's not what he wanted at all. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky for Beast here. What a horrible draw. Very unfortunate. So, you've got to make decisions here. If you dagger to two... You can either dagger for the victory point, or you can use Signet Ring for two garrison troops. If you're going to go tech negotiation, take like Sonic Snoopers, which I think is what I would do, or Disposal. Or you fold space it, which you, and hope that you get the card back anyways. But then, if you're gonna fold space, you might as well just use your dagger. You don't need to do this. Oh, I don't like this. What's going on here? Oh, I, I didn't like that at all. Why is he gonna fold space it? I think he's miscounted a little bit there. He's forgotten he's got high, his tech negotiation would have got him there. Sonic Snoopers, it's gonna be no, nope, no nope, disposal. Yeah, I think this is a good pull. So gets the trash a card immediately. He's going to use this to trash his dagger then, surely. Okay, now, now it makes sense. Although he still would have got there. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's only got Imperial Spy at the same time. I have no idea. Right, so... Alaysa's going to be up next. Alaysa now is in a difficult... Sp uh, she's got second wave as backup. So she doesn't feel too bad. Shouldn't she want to get some money together to start paying for flagships? That's the problem with a laser. She's got flagship, but she has no uh, no access to shipping. So money is difficult to come by. So it might force some wealth trips just to pay for that. It looks like that's what's going to happen here. It's not particularly efficient, though. This is the problem. It's like you've kind of forced yourself down this path. It doesn't feel very good. But it's kind of where you've put yourself here. Was well, she going to go for the alliance? I don't like secrets. I mean, neither's great. But it's about where you put yourself here. So Helena's up. Now, Helena will surely put in more troops here with a, with a Carfag visit. Yeah, that's exactly what we see. Ooh, picks up Charisma. That's nice. She can use that for a Spice Must Flow here. Going to put in the troops. Oh, it's not going to be enough, though. Laser can win the combat. But Helena will take two waters. She won't be too upset with that. So 11, 12 to buy for Beast? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. 8, 10, 11? I think it's 11. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 11. I'd like to see Imperial Spy taken, and he does. Very good. I think it's the right picks there. Very nice. Also gets a trash card in play. Disposal, and does. Uh, Alaysa has four. Takes Bashar. Makes sense. It just turned up there. So Helena is not going to be able to win this combat here. She's going to be one short. Has seven, which is enough for the Choam directorship. So it gets uh, bumps with all the factions. Although of not as much use. Obviously spacing is dead. But she'll take the bumps elsewhere. And the laser doing the maths. Realising, just counting, like, can I win a second wave? The answer is you definitely can. Helena will pass. A laser will play second wave and will take it down. 
A little disappointing for Helena, but forcing her to spend all of the resources, everything she's got to win the combat here. Um, Elena will still get uh, Helena will still get two water for this, which she won't be completely upset with. Um, but has managed to spend out uh, a laser here, which is what both players need. They've got to keep an eye on a laser. They can't just let it go unchecked here. Um, she is the, probably the single strongest um, combative force on the board here. Uh, the Dreadnought must be placed. I imagine we'll see Carfag. Yep. And that'll be all. So two water for Helena. We'll move on to the next round. Conflict freeze about to begin. Gonna be interesting to see what these are. A laser wants victory points. Economic supremacy is our first combat. Now, this is curious. No one's in a great spot to actually take this. You might go look at laser and think, oh well, she's got Solari. She wants to use the Solari for flagships. This is a very strange combat here. I don't know if this favors anyone. This could just be a, a fight for just a victory point between everyone. This is curious. So, a laser uh, well, is looking to put down her card for... She's got four scale assault, which she's going to be interested with here. Uh, we've got uh, Beast has got his tech... Uh, he's got his Ixil Compact back now. Beast probably wants to look to get rid of Ixil Compact. It's done its work. I would be looking to try and get it out of your hand. Uh, probably this turn. Get it revealed. Get it trashed. Get a load of troops up into the negotiations and call it a day. Um... But yeah, like, Elaza's going to want to get into action here. She's going to use full scale for actual combat here to get the troops in. Flagship as well. But again, like, I don't know if anyone is actually going to pick up two points from this combat. I think you could well see first place gets a point, second place gets a point. I think it's very possible. Beast will go... Beast is going to take the spice. Wow. Beast is going to take the spice. He is not going shipping. Here we go. Now the fun begins. Here comes full scale. Full scale to wealth to get the points. Obviously to pay for flagships, I guess. She gets two garrison troops. You'll put them in later. So Helena can go to shipping if she wants. Been completely allowed. She will do so. She's not going to turn that down. Gonna go down and up. I don't know if I like that, but okay. Picks up her dagger. I imagine she'll start taking spice now. People are going to be eyeing up highliners here. Beast surely is going to want to be eyeing up his highliners as well. He doesn't have access to this turn, but he's going to want to start doing it. So spice taken. Uh, bump for Helena. Does she challenge Fremen? Gives Beast something to think about? I think challenging Beast is fine here, actually. You, you would imagine you're probably going to find visits to the other two factions somewhere at some point. Maybe not necessarily Emperor. But I think this is fine. Just give the Beast something a little little to think about. Just make him a little pensive. Um, Beast still needs to get his points with Bernard Jesserit. And also he's got member quarter points he wants to secure as well. Research station taken by the Beast here. Hmm. Okay, so Beast has nine reveal potentially, or you can take a load of swords. Didn't expect him to do it now, but okay. Maybe he was worried that a laser was going to go there. A laser can definitely take great flat, and I would probably consider doing so. That's five spice. That pays for Highliner trips. I think that's too strong here. You're going to be first to act next turn. You can hit that straight away. You still need to get your space and guild influence. I would be 100% taking this. Set yourself up for Highlanders next turn. I don't even think it's close. So, and also, you could also use this just to pay for the victory point as well. But you've got to win this combat, and that's going to be not easy. Hmm. Sucking it out, liaison. That's a statement. Fine shifting. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like players are going to continue here. Um, so, change the shifting allegiances to take the um, Emperor Alliance, just to get more troops in. Um, Helena is going to go Hardy Warriors to continue to throw pressure onto the Beast here, that he's got to do something. Also wants to try and win the combat, potentially. And then we're going to find our way to the Beast here. 
This is a weird spot for Beast. Um, looks like he's probably out of this combat here. So I probably would be totally fine with changing the... Use the Ben Jesuit Sisters for the reveal effect. And use that to pick up your Spice Plus Flow. You've got Call cool of the Market. You want to make use out of that. It's awkward though, because it means you've got nine Spice. You've got nine Persuasion. And you can't really use any other card here. Unless you went to Selective Breeding. You could go Diplomacy, Selective Breeding... And you'd be fine. You don't want to trash your X Guild though. Because you're going to be able to trash that with Disposal Facility anyways. So I, I think probably Selective Breeding. Um, get rid of like Dune. Or Reconnaissance. Whichever one. I don't particularly don't think it really matters. Um, and then you're pretty much guaranteed to get select your, your Spice Plus Flow. You're getting your Bene Gesserit point. Keeps you competitive with the, um, keeps you competitive with the Alliance there. Keeps you up to pace that. But obviously you're worried about the Fremen. And you're very reasonably worried about the Fremen. The question is, is if you went to uh, went to Steel Suits, is that enough to defend the Alliance? I don't know. It's a real an issue as well, because if Lena takes the Alliance from you, it kind of like um, takes the... Uh, it kind of only really benefits a laser. He's, he's, you know, he's obviously particularly dangerous here, so... I don't know, it's kind of a weird one. I think you can go both ways. Is it a disaster if you lose the Fremen Alliance? It's obviously not good. Never feels good to lose it. But you've got Memo Corders. Memo Corders kind of makes up for losing the Alliance here, I think. So I would still do this. Yeah, I think this is the right call overall. Memo Corders means that if you lose an Alliance, it's not a disaster. You need to be pushing towards that, especially in a free player game. Um, I don't really think it matters which one you trash. I would not trash Spice Must Flow. You need to keep that for Call on the Market. Yep, and there you go. So uh, that is Spice Must Float ready to purchase out here. I think this is the right call. It feels not great to throw from an alliance away like this, but, you know, you've got to... Um, you, I think this is totally fine. So a laser will be up next. Signet Ring is incoming. A laser obviously wins to win the combat, but now she's kind of running out of resources, though, is the problem. It's getting harder to win these. I don't know if she really can win this. Hagger Basin is basically saying, I'm going to give up this one and hire on the next turn. I mean, if you're second place, you still get a point. I think that's fine. I don't know. You can go both ways about this. Um, but I, I think... I mean, the spice is really valuable here. And you kind of want it. Is Beast likely to overtake you? I don't know. It's hard. To, you would expect Beast to really commit swords in here. But you also want to deny Helena. But it's kind of awkward. If he's, if you if, if Helena wins, she's probably going to get in a point anyways. It's kind of weird. I think I'd go Hagger Basin. I think I'd take the Spice and Highline next turn. Next turn is almost likely going to be a double a double point combat. And that's what you want to focus on. But she also has flagships. You could go Hagger Basin. Um, and then use flagships to get troops in. I, maybe that's a more efficient play here. Halazel wants to win three points from this combat. I don't think it's physically possible. It's just she's never winning three, cop, three points here. When Helena is still to act. It's just... And she's got troops and garrison. You don't. I think you have to accept you're not winning three points here. You can win two if you want. You could go Hagger Basin and Flagship. Or you could go Carfag and Flagship. But I think Carfag is... Unless you get a big battle card. But what battle... The only biggest battle card you're going to get is like Ambush. There's only two of them in the deck. Master Tactician may not even be enough. And Helena is still to act. I, I don't think trying to win three from this combat is realistic. I think two is the max. And you can more or less guarantee two if you flagship. But if you're trying to try and get three, I think that's asking an awful lot. And ultimately, I, I just think that Hagger Basin is just better for you here anyways. 
you want to ready up Highliner next turn. Like, you've had no spacing influence whatsoever. You need to do that. You're leaving points down here. Highliners have got to be hit. Mm. Carfag is the choice. Doesn't find a combat intrigue. Now what do you do? You feel like you've got to put it in, right? Yeah, flag she gets the coin from Carfag, but it's not enough to pay for flagship. I don't know. This is a weird spot the laser is in, but she's kind of created this herself. Yeah, I think flagships was going to happen. Pretty much wherever she went, I think she was flagshipping. And now she's going to feel she's got to put them all in, which she's going to do. Yeah. I think I think Neil kind of got himself into a bit of a weird... Sp is he really going to save it out? You really gonna put four troops and garrison them? It's complete indecision here. She's desperate to win two points. Yeah. What a weird spot. And now the problem is, if you've done this, you might as well have just gone to Hagger Basin. And if you're going to put the three flagship troops in, you might as well go to Hagger Basin, taking the spice and get ready for Highland next turn. I think gambling on the entry, I don't think was worth it. All right, when you get a really good one, you feel like, all right, that was, a good, that was the right choice. But that's being very results orientated. And there's not enough intrigues which are going to be like really heavily worth it. So Lazy's going to put in two by the looks of it. Three. And he, he just has no idea. Just kind of guessing, really. Which is largely what this is. This is basically a guess. Because Helena can do a lot of things here still. So. Just going to put them all in. Just going to put them all in. Mm. And now Helena doesn't have to get involved. Now Helena can do whatever she wants. Secrets. Fix up Water Peddler's Union there. I mean, not... Eh, I guess it's not bad. A pace research station can't be blocked. Uh, Beast will get those. He will then trash it using disposal for two more. Sure, he just takes the spice. Uh, must float. Yep, which he does. Gets the spice from that, which I think he took. Gets the spice from that. And a laser will take the sword here. So a laser will take the win. She is going to pay the spice here for... Uh, she's going to pay the spice for this. Uh, spice is flow for Helena. Ooh, whoops. That is all. Of course, Guild Ambassador is now doing nothing. Yeah, uses Charisma to pay for it, yeah. There we go. And then combat it will be. So, yeah, a laser will win. I imagine she's going to take the two points here. Gets to the seven. Uh, Helena will pick up a consolation VP. And we're going to move on to the next one. Next combat is going to be fascinating to see how this plays back. Um, uh, her laser's dreadnought will be returned. That's going to be her only garrison here. I really think this is going to be a highliner race. And surely Beast will win it. Helena's, I mean, you would imagine Helena's going to go shipping, Beast will go Hagger Basin, and he's going to go Highliner, if he can. You'd imagine that's how this is going to proceed here. Oh, it's Grand Vision is the next combat. Wow. Okay, so this is an interesting combat here. Wow. Now, what happens here? I have no idea. Now, you've got to look at alliances. Emperor Alliance, you don't think he's going to get challenged. Spacing Guild is, is, is tuck. Bene Jesuit Alliance, everyone's on two. 
And of course, there's competition for the Fremen Alliance at four each. So this is going to be interesting. Now, Helena and Fury could go shipping and just visit the Fremen and lock that up, and it will be a race for the uh, a race for the Fre the Bene Gesserit Alliance. You would imagine. I think that's how this is going to go down. Laser's going to be first to act here. Helena finds treachery. Now, the problem, of course, with Helena is Helena needs to start making use out of her actual treachery card. Is the question. At what point do you decide to use it? Now, um, Eliza has a 15-card deck. It is round 8. Are you really going to see Treachery again? I don't think so. I imagine Treachery will be played out this time. That's what I imagine we'll see. Maybe a Treachery to Hardy Warriors looks pretty good. I imagine that's what we're going to see. And that's why it's being this is being put down. I think Treachery is going to be played here. But other than that, it's a pretty horrendous hand for Eliza. She's got nothing else going on here. But Grand Vision is not a good combat for her, unless she wants to go Bene Gesserit. Dispatch and Envoy is in her hand, which gives us some extra options. She's got bribery, so there's that, but the money is a problem. This is the problem. When you go flagships, but you don't have shipping access, it's hard to fund it. Yeah, here we go. Elaza's getting ready to rip, uh, rip this one out here. Here we go. Uh, Helena pulls Guild Ambassador again. Um, she's got True Sayer. Beast has got a bizarre hand. Wow, look at this. Both Convincings, both Bene Gesserits, and... And his Doom Desert. Wow, what a bizarre hand here. Beast is in some trouble, this hand. I don't know what he's gonna... He's gonna have to hit Selective Breeding. He's got no access. He can't even pay for Mentat. So I think he's going to have to hit Selective Breeding immediately. And if Helena goes there first, he's in absolute jail. But he has six negotiators and Shuttlefleet sitting right there. He's got Spaceport as well. So actually, there are, there is backup plans. It's not a disaster for Beast. He has no shipping access. He's going to hope Helena goes there, I guess. Neil, still thinking about it. I think you have to rip out Treachery now. Like, I think you have to get ready to use it. I don't think there's any... You put it down. Um, the question is, do you want to use it now or later? I think you put it down. I think you hope no one goes Harley Warriors. You could go there immediately, but it feels kind of bad. Depends how much you value Grand Vision. I think Grand Vision's worth fighting for. You can still use this for stuff. Um, you know, to face the, to, to chase Bene Gesserit indirectly. I think it's totally fine, but I would not be um, hot projecting this anymore. This has to be used this turn. I would say not using it this turn is a mistake because I don't. You're never seeing this card again. So I think Neil was just deciding on turn order. Yeah, it's coming down. So Dune up first. He takes the spice. Wow, Neil takes the spice. And he's going to use flagships here to get the troops in. Okay, here we go. So, immediate, immediate statement of intent here. Laser's going to try and take this one down. I don't think Helena or Beast will be too unhappy about this, to be honest. Helena will go into Stella, as she will do. And she's going to come down. This will go and take the Fremen Alliance. Nothing Beast can do about it, but I think I still think this is fine for Beast. I think there's nothing wrong with this at all. He's got corner of the market. He's got uh, memo quarters. This is all fine. Try and neaten up for him there. So you have to go selective breeding first. There is no other options here. You, you just have to. What are you trash though? Oh, he's oh no! Oh, spaceport shuttle shuttle. Oh, he goes shuttle. He takes shuttle fleet. So he gets two bumps. So Bene Gesserit and Emperor, surely. I don't think you bother with the throne. You give up on that. Yep, that's good. All right, there you go. Now you feel a little better about your life. Must still be hoping for Shuttle Fleet, I guess. Uh, for us that's breeding. Hoping no one goes there. Here comes Treachery. Dagger being discarded. Finds the other dagger. <laughs> Treachery's still going to get used here. Oh, she hits Selective Breeding. Bad news for Beast here. Nothing Beast can do. He's just completely locked out now. He is out of options. He will have to reveal. 
Or go secrets, I guess. Which I guess he will still do. He's going to trash treachery as well, I would imagine, to get all the troops in. Using trash. So that'll be four troops into the combat again. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, she used, oh, trash tag. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, misread that. So trashing the dagger instead. Okay, fine. I, I would, I, I would still have trashed, um, I would have still done that. But okay, whatever. I thought she had done and just didn't do it. But I think it would have been better anyways. Anyways, so Helene is going to come in here. Remember, of course, um, rewards are mandatory in these games. So don't. this isn't me trying to play people's games for them. It's like rewards are mandatory. You have to take them. You can't not take them. So if she had trash it, she must put the troops in. But I guess figures she's going to win this combat. So which is probably true. Helena with the Conspire. I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. Picks up Water of Life. That's nice, but she's got to find some spice for it, though. Picks up Spice Must Flow card. Not what she was looking for, I don't think. But improvement on what she had. Beast has to reveal. He's forced to. He has no action. Oh, I know! Oh, that does bind Spice Must Flow. Oh, and of course, Tech Negotiation gets in there, so binds the Spice Must Flow. And finds him as Awaken. So that is 10 points. Beast gets up to 10. He's going to hope it's going to be good enough. Can anyone take the point from him? I don't think so. I think Beast is going to win this. He doesn't get memo quarters, but he's going to get two from Call of the Market. It's going to take him to 12. It's kind of stuck about out of nowhere. And now this is where it's a real problem for a laser. She can only get one point from this combat. Oh no, and she can't get two points in the combat. She can't use her bribery. She has no money. Oh, this is terrible news for a laser. And all of a sudden, out of almost nowhere, a laser Ikaz is in is absolute straight here. This is the problem. Like, this coming instead of one of the uh, double point victories was, like, never going to be good news for a laser. And it has turned out that way. Beast has snuck about out of nowhere to 10 points. Laser can win the cop. She wins the combat, takes it a 9. I don't think she's got anything else. I think she's out of options. I think the only thing to do is to go secrets and just try and hold on to the alliance, I guess. But Beast is already revealed. Wow. I think a laser's race is run. And I don't think there's anything uh, Helena can do about it either. I think this is over. Dagger's going to be used here. Might as well. Um, that's definitely not, yeah, it's definitely not legal. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Oh, she's going to use it as a, okay, she's going to use it as a, um, she's going to use dispatch here, but not dispatch it? What? I have no idea. I don't know what Neil's doing here. I'm unsure. I'll let him... Yes, so the card has the there's, there's icons. Doesn't mean he has to use it. He's doing it for secret protection, basically. Finds guild authorization. Does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. Dead card. Bale's going to win it. Um, Helena is gonna is gonna ment out and just try and find anything she can do here. But no spice means no water or life. Um I think it's just gonna be a research station here and just hope it works. 
Um, but at least it's just going to play Guild Authorization, but it doesn't really matter. Um, there's nothing else to be done here. Five to buy. It's going to win this uncontested, but it doesn't matter. Um, the only thing Helena can do is go Spice Must Flow. She has to hit Research Station. It's the only option. She buys Spice Must Flow, pays for Holtzman, which will give you double spice. Oh, and doesn't draw anything. Finds Chow Woman Initiate and Fufia. Ugh. Two troops in, though, is better than nothing. Um, that will give her the some some stuff on the combat reveal here. So gets a spice. Oh, she can see his water of life, though. She gets a gets um gets a uh, intrigue draw. Water of life comes in. Oh no, hold on a second. Wait, no, I think um oh no, it's on combat rewards. My apologies. I'm thinking. These do get applied to this one. It's on combat reward point uh, phase. Um, the cards are added to your next hand. Let me just get in here quickly. So whatever, it doesn't really matter, but it's a fun fact. Yeah, just going to quickly get in here. Um, so if this was on combat rewards, the cards go to your next hand. But if you do it now, they are added to your reveal. So does it go into the reveal? They go into your reveal, yeah. If, you, if you'd if done it like on combat rewards mm -hmm. and like bought Spaceport, for example, it's added to your next yeah. hand. So you draw like seven, basically. But these mm -hmm. are added into your reveal. Um, I hope you remember what cards it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was a weirding <laughs> way. Weirding and something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go, so that's cleaned up there. So I have no idea if that's enough. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's still uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is enough for Spice Must Flow, just. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's enough for Spiceless Flow, which will pay for Holtzman Engine, but it is not going to be enough. Um, maybe there might be some main-game intrigues that somehow pay for anything. I have no idea. Plans have been plans for Helena. Plans have been plans would be a point for Helena. She get herself up to ten, but she's um, and she does get some spice. So conceivably, she can still win this, but not with Call of the Market. So point for them, um, the Spice for Helena and the Intrigue draw. Finds nothing, and that is going to be all she wrote here. Beast wins! Bale with the victory will win it with 12 points. Helena gets herself up to 9 and a laser also on nine. A pretty hard fought game. Um, there was some interesting stuff. I think a laser strategy of going combat early was very interesting and a little risky, but it was looking pretty decent. But um, I guess the steam just ran out in the end. Uh, Beast played pretty well. Um, didn't do much wrong. Load of techs. Um, Ixil Compact paid a huge dividend in this game. Played solid. That was a close one, though. I mean,. I don't know, maybe Green. I feel like Green just killed it, but outside of that, it was a pretty close one. Bale played shit pretty solid, Bale, guys. Yeah, yeah. Bale, Bale played, played pretty well. Like, um... Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like, I think, um... There was a lot of cool stuff going on. Like, the uh, laser, mm -hmm. the early treachery reveal, and taking a lot of projectors looked really, really nice. I, it was risky. Um, but I, th I think it was pretty cool, yeah. though. I think it was, it was pretty cool, if, if risky. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Um, I, I kind of like how it worked out. I think I just overcommitted and stuff, but I... I that's the know. problem. It's hard to judge when to back off. And ultimately as well, yeah. you weren't sort of helped. Like, I mean, Grand Vision was like the worst cut on back it could have been. Like, that was really bad. Yeah. But to be fair, Beast kind of like snuck up out of nowhere with those last couple of points or so. Like, really came out of nowhere yeah. with them. Like, I, I kind of missed them. Um, but he's still compact, uh, paid for tons of techs, and, yeah. you know, it was a little nice little diversity. 
Um, in a weird way, because you were so dominating, like, sort of mid-game combat, it allowed Beast just to kind of focus on other stuff, so it kind of worked out that way. Yeah, yeah, it did play very well. Um, but there was, there was a lot of cool stuff going on, um, you know, even with, like, yeah. even when the Fremen Alliance was being, like, threatened by Helena, like, I was totally fine with dropping it, because, like, you think you got member quarters, so you can afford mm -hmm. to lose it, it's not a disaster. Yeah. Um, yeah. you obviously shut out the spacing guild there as well, which I think was that was the right call. Just get that done, take the point from the combat, do that as well. Just it's done. Um, you know, uh, guild and guild yeah. ambassadors just out of the game. You don't want to worry about that. So I think it was very, very shrewd from Bale. Yeah, that's true. I agree. I, I also like um, the use of the. Skill compact. Yeah, it's like it, it's guild's awesome. underrated. Um, I think some people do not like this card, yeah. but I I think it's skill compact with beast is really strong um, because like when you're yeah. busy doing all the stuff you're doing, it's hard mm -hmm. for you to pick up tech. Sometimes this is a great way to supplement that. You need to kind of keep a bit of a narrowish deck or do a lot of like um like sense of breed drawing and stuff like that. But um, I think yeah. it's skill with beast is very nice, um, and I, I enjoy using it a lot. I find I tend to do pretty well yeah. of it, and it just means you're always competitive with like with, with texts that come out, because there's no real texts that are right. bad for him. Everything's good, pretty much. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no. whatever's on the whatever's on the row, like he's gonna be used Like I thought he might even go like shoot trans uh, sonic snoopers at some point, or you know, just tons yeah. of options. I was considering, but the the cards in my hand are just too good. Yeah, it was kind of a weird one. Like yeah. what he had was totally fine. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, like you know, even though you got two transports, and then Helena just decided to shut you out of shipping. But it doesn't matter as the beast; you yeah. can kind of get away with it. Like you don't have to ship as yeah. beast. Yeah. Um, right. So, but no, there was a lot of cool stuff in this game, and I think it was. Um, yeah. I think it was a good match. Yeah. Um. So Bale, you better go win the entire thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the way, isn't it? Uh, let's see who you're going to be up against here, Bale. Let's have a little looky here. Get my table up. I should have this prepared, but I didn't because of the reasons. This is quarter. This is wildcard I. Um, so your quarterfinal, you're going to be going against uh, Samansi, uh, Habut, and uh, Zytros. Or Thomas, I never know how to pronounce his name. In a quarter G. Samansi's pretty, pretty tasty. I think I have played against him before, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty solid. So I think uh, that'll be a good match. To be fair, a lot of the quarters looking pretty good here. So, uh, but that is yeah. going to be your quarterfinal. So yeah, congrats for the win. Um, congratulations yeah, to Neil. Well, I say it was a pretty well fought mm -hmm. uh, wild card match, though. So I don't think anyone could be too bad about it. Beast just just played really solid. So that is going to be all for this one. Thank you all for watching. As for always, again, congrats to Bale. I think overall played a pretty pretty solid match. Um, you know, kind of got in early uh, and then kind of was able to focus on other matters when Alaze was busy dominating mid-game combat. Again, that is the one thing, admittedly, with going for that strategy is it's hard to know how much or how little to commit. It's a very high-variant strat. Um, and in a winner-takes-all scenario, it is a bit feast or famine. Um, but I think Bale rode things out pretty solidly, um, kind of getting around being uh, blocked a lot from shipping. But Beast is probably the char one character who can... Don't have to worry about it too much if you get blocked from there. It's not a big deal. Um, and I think was probably deserved a winner in this match. So thank you all for watching. Um, we shall see you all next time. Hopefully for some more wildcard action. We've still got a couple of matches uh, still yet to be played. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up one of those for you guys. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next conflict.